is today today i am showing you this bernard cole effect first open content browser i am importing this two textures i downloaded this textures in google this is my static mesh made in maya import the static mesh to unreal engine in here right click create a new material name it and open it in here take mask and click on two sides now drag and drop this texture in here take and multiply connect this to texture sample from this multiply take texture coordinate from here take an another multiply in here its value is minus 100 from here take power now from this multiply take lerp connect this multiply to lerp B and connect this to alpha. Now connect from this lerp, take multiply. Connect this to B. From A, take particle color. Now connect this RGB to base color. From here, take LERP. Connect this to roughness. From this, multiply. Take add. Connect this to B and connect this add to emissive color. From opacity mask, take clamp. Now, from clamp, take an add. Take an another add. From add B, take texture sample. Now in here, take noise texture. Here, take an panner. Connect this to texture sample. Change its value to one and one. Now from this panel, take texture coordinate. In here, select this in details. Take four and four, and from this add take and power. From power, take. Mask. In mask, tick off the R. And from mask, take texture coordinate. From add, take dynamic parameter. Change its name to a roy and tile. Connect this tile to multiply, and from this add take lerp. In here, uh, copy this and paste here. Connect this to lerp alpha. Now power val change the power value. Now from lerp. Take derive HDR from LDR. From here, take texture sample. In here, take fire texture.
Now in here, press one, connect this to here. Uh, change its value. Now from this normal, take texture sample. In here, take a rock basalt texture. Now apply this, go to third person mapper. I'm applying this material to this. Now duplicate this material. Open it. Uh, in here, change this texture. And in here, change its value. Apply this, go to third person mapper, drag and drop the static mesh and apply this material to it. I am taking these two textures, in here right click create a material, name it and open it in here in blend mode take mask header, click on the two sides. Now drag and drop this uh, the texture. From here take uh, multiply. Now drag and drop this smoke texture. Connect this multiply to base color. From emissive color take uh, LERP. From LERP B take uh, derive HDR from LDR. From here take uh, Texture sample, in here take noise texture, um, like this, from here take power, now here take and multiply, connect this to power, from multiply we take texture sample, in here uh, take a fire texture. Now drag and drop this smoke texture. Connect this to multiply. Here take and pan or connect this panner to two texture samples. From panner take a texture coordinate. In here change the panner value. 0.02 and 0.02 and change the power value to 1.5 now in here press 3 uh, change its color and taking orange color now connect this to here now again here press 1 Connect this to here, change its value to 0 0.03. Now, in here, right click, take and power. From power, take texture sample. Uh, no, 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 delete this and Duplicate this, connect this to power and again here take a dynamic parameter, connect this to power. Now change the dynamic parameter name, connect this power to opacity mask. Now from normal, take a texture sample, in here take a rock basalt texture. Now apply, go to third person map, open content browser, in here right click, uh, I'm importing this ash texture, a no no no, ash static mesh, this is my static mesh, now open 
ओपन करने में ब्राउज़र राइट क्लिक क्रिएट एंड नयाग्रा सिस्टम टेक हैंगिंग पार्टिकल्स नाउ नेम इट एंड ओपन नेट नाउ डिलीट द स्प्राइट वेंडर एंड ऐड मेश वेंडर इन मेशेस अप्लाई दिस साडिक मेश इन इंडेक्स एंड रोटेशन आई एम टेकिंग 90 डिग्रीस नाउ इन हियर अप्लाई द मटेरियल टू द स्टैटिक मेश नाउ इन अ स्पॉन रेट टेक अ 20 पार्टिकल्स इन इनिशियलाइज पार्टिकल लाइफ टाइम टेक 1 एंड 0.5 इन here take uh, unset uh, in mesh scale mode take random uniform in here adjust the size of uh, particles go to shape location uh, in here take cylinder in cylinder radius take 30 now uh, in wind force uh, uh, in wind speed take uh, 10 you can see particles are moving now in particle object add gravity force in here i am taking low value like to minus 10 now in particle object again add dynamic material parameter now in here click on this arrow take float from curve Select this key. In here, take zero, and in here, take point one, and select this key. Here, take one point six. Now, right click on this and tick on auto. Uh, adjust this here. Now, apply. Go to third person map. Uh, drag and drop this particle and see. I am adjusting here. Now, uh, in previous videos, uh, I made this a smoke effect. Okay. Uh. I'm changing the light direction here. Now play and see. Now you can see the burning coal effect. And thank you for watching Siri Gaming Channel. Don't forget to subscribe it.